Hi, I'm Betsy, and this is CAM Matters. You'll want to join us today because we have a reserve study specialist, Anastasia Kolodzik, from Expert Inspectors, who will be talking to us about the need for reserves and saving for those long-term replacements of roofing, paving, painting, concrete, railing, balconies, driveways, fences, um, so many things that she's going to remind us of that we need to strategically save for because if you don't pay a little bit now, you're going to pay a whole lot later. Come join us. Welcome to CAM Matters, Condos, Co-ops, HOAs, and Beyond. Betsy Barbu is an information leader in Florida on community association living, rights, and obligations. She is an expert on the rights and obligations of owners as well as the association. If you live or are planning to live in the state of Florida, there's a good chance you'll be part of a community association. And by the end of this show, you'll know a little bit more about community associations and why they matter. Hi, welcome to the show. I'm Suzanne Lynn with Betsy Barbu, and today we're very excited. We've got a special guest. Uh, her name is Anastasia. Actually, I'm going to let you do the last name. No, uh, you're <laughs> yeah. not getting me on this one. Uh -uh. Uh, Anastasia Kolodzik <laughs> yes. with Expert Inspectors. Right. And, yes, and what she, she said. Did I do it right? <laughs> You did, you did. Yeah, or close anyway. <laughs> it, it, um, and she is with Expert Inspectors and she is a reserve study specialist. Which means that she handles the money. She's great with uh, with numbers. And she, from what I understand what they do, they're preparing, they're helping organizations, uh, communities to know where they stand financially and what's to come. Right. Well, financially as in future uh, capital improvements and expenditures. Okay not current financially. Okay. So tell, tell us what, who, what, when, where, why, how, <laughs> and who pays for it. That's what you always want yeah, to know. Yeah. <laughs> so so tell us about it, Anastasia. That when we do a reserve study, we do give them a current assessment, which gives the association a good picture of where they are financially at the present. That is used for comparison for future uh, improvement. Uh, not necessarily just physical improvements to the property, but also improvements in their financial health. Um, yeah. Two is associations, condo associations, homeowner associations, timeshares, uh, country clubs, golf and country clubs, um, marinas, any cooperatives, any yeah. cooperative, any uh, association, uh, any corporation that has a common element that they have to maintain and have to provide for, have to repair, have to replace. And it's not just limited to corp, uh, to uh, community associations, but it's, like I said, it also goes into churches, golf clubs, yeah. uh, uh, things of that nature. Yeah. And but uh, we're focusing on community associations. And I know that the law, uh, the statutes in Florida re require reserves for roofing, paving, painting, and then anything else over $10,000 mm -hmm. cost to replace. And that is for condos and co-ops. Okay. HOAs don't have quite the same law. So are you required as a community to have someone like Anastasia? Like, you, is that a law? It's not required, but boy, you'd be foolish not to okay. use somebody like Anastasia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because, I mean, you don't want Scooter from Mississippi <laughs> saying this is how much I think that roof costs. Hey, and, Scooter's my cousin, so watch what you and, say. I mean, you don't, you know, it, it's just like, you know, well, I used to do right. roofs in New Jersey and that's right. how much they cost. So you, you really want somebody like Anastasia right. who knows Florida roofs, Florida paving, Florida paint. Because it's different from up north and yeah. places that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it ages differently. Oh. It ages differently, it's right? Different from, yes, it's different from up north and the um, the life expectancy for a roof at the beach is different for a life expectancy for a roof inland. So oh, if you wow. have something on Daytona Beach that has a flat inland roof, it's not going to last as long as the same exact roof in Ocala. Because right. You have completely different, and we go by zip code. We go by elemental location. We go by... Um, um, the quality of the product that was put on and the quality of the installation. Yeah. So there's a lot of different factors there. And she's right. You know, Bubba from 
from up in Alabama. He's not. <laughs> I started. I started to say Scooter from right, Alabama, right. but I knew you were from Alabama, so I didn't say that. But right there, he don't understand that plumbing here, it digging in the sand is different than digging in the red clay up in Alabama. I mean, right. it's a whole different, a whole different world. Right. Mm. And paving, too. I know we learned that uh, with Connie that the the um, depth of paving is different in. Um, upstate New York than it is the, the, the thickness of paving here. And so the replacement cost, the life and all of that is, is different. Absolutely. And it also goes on what type of paving you have or what type mm -hmm. of menus you're doing. You know, you you could be doing a two inch overlay with a full meal and seal, or you could be doing a one inch overlay with just a seal and you didn't have the meal in there. So right. it's all, it all factors in. Everything is unique. Every association is unique. Mm -hmm. Right. The there are some communities that just ballpark uh, figures. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a worst case scenario to tell us? That sounds really dangerous to yeah, me. And yeah, and I think I, I think there's worst case. <laughs> I, I bet I bet you've got a worst case scenario you can tell us. Yes. Um, there was there was a certain association. We'll call them Association A. <laughs> Association A uh, decided for the last 10 years that they were going to ballpark, as you say, and figure their own reserve cost. And every year, the unit owners decided that they were not going to fund the reserve account, so they waived it. So this went on for 10 years. The new board came in, which is a younger, fresher board, and decided that they needed to have a professional reserve study done. When we were looking at the numbers, of course, they were 30% of probably of what it actually would have cost to replace oh, the component. Yeah. And they had not increased their assessments, their reserve assessments in the last few years. They came in at probably at 15% at funded, where a healthy funding is 70%. So okay. and, up. and and can you translate that for the for those who are watching? Can you translate that to dollars? They 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 should have had how many dollars, and they okay, had so only if, how many dollars? Okay, if if their component cost you know a thousand dollars, they mm -hmm. had fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, time. and that that means they that they had seven hundred or more. Wow. It, which means if you're underfunded, if your roof costs two million dollars yeah. to replace yeah. and you don't have the two million dollars on hand when it comes time to replace it, mm -hmm. if you've only got five hundred thousand, who pays for the rest? The owners That's pay for it. They, what? The owners get special <laughs> assessed to pay for the rest. Oh my and gosh. And you have so long to pay for that special assessment over and above your regular monthly or quarterly assessment and over and above your mortgage, your taxes, your insurance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you pay. So, so that's very short-sighted so to not you, be properly funded. What we, yeah. what we always say is you either pay a little bit now along mm -hmm. or you pay a lot right. later. Right, right. You it's pay a little. can down the road. Kicking the can down the road, yeah, yes. that's a very good one. Yes. You know, I always say, if you're going to live in Disney, you got to pay the mouse, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's good. That's good. And that's Pop up the cheese. how yeah. I approached Association A. Because yeah. the first thing they said is, oh, we can have a special assessment. Okay, but you can have a special assessment. That's completely up to you. That's your prerogative. But here's the argument for that. You can either put the funding away over time, invest it, and gain interest, or you can go and have a special assessment, which means that most homeowners are going to be taking out a loan and paying, and paying interest. Mm -hmm. So that, yeah, the, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, the reserves, you, you would put them in an interest-bearing account. Mm -hmm. So as you're saving these tens of thousands of dollars, you're mm -hmm. earning money. Mm -hmm. And there are different ways to earn money. And depending on what your documents say, there's some... Um, other products that are um, insurance products like annuities, mm -hmm. you can earn a whole lot more money than in a bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, they, know, can, they can have interest. I'm just thinking about that scenario, Anastasia, uh, where it, 
10 years in and all of a sudden they had to pay all this money. If you're if you're a new homeowner who just bought in the last year or two, hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Guess what? <laughs> Slam. Here's yeah, your exactly. Assessment. Like they wouldn't have known that that was happening. It's funny you say that because first off, the real estate agents are supposed to disclose any kind of special assessment. Supposed to. And we're not going to talk about that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that can also ensue a lawsuit if you buy and it's not disclosed. That can ensue mm -hmm. a lawsuit against the association, which is not ever a good thing. Ever, ever. Right. Uh, having, there are some... your, having your reserve study on hand for new owners, for owners, you know, for current owners, for them to get a good feel of where they are and what they need to be doing. Because a lot of the mindset on the owners is, you know, we'll pay for it when it comes due. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to work because then you have buying and selling and you have these new owners. And the new owners are usually younger owners and they're going to be there longer. Mm -hmm. So if they start off on the wrong foot, then that just, it, it yeah. completely demolishes any kind of trust in the board. Absolutely. Anastasia, we're going to take a quick break and okay. we're going to come back because we've got way more to talk about. I have more questions okay. now than when we started. So <laughs> hang on a second. Are you ready for a new career? Do you have skills or interest in management, real estate, construction, maintenance, accounting, strategic planning, project management? budgets, human resource management, lawn and landscaping, pool services, or any other expertise needed to operate a community association? If you do, community association management could be for you. For more information, feel free to email Betsy at Betsy at FloridaCamSchools.com or visit the Florida Cam Schools website at www.FloridaCamSchools.com. Florida Community Association Management continues to grow. Career opportunities abound. And welcome back to Cam Matters with Suzanne Lynn and Betsy Barbu and special guest Anastasia. Kalansik. Kalansik. Okay, <laughs> Anastasia, before the break, you were talking about possible lawsuits if realtors don't disclose, you know, that financial things weren't really handled, right? You want to finish your thought on that? Well, the whole, the whole purpose of that was to reiterate how important a reserve study and how important it is to have a healthy reserve percentage. Now, the state of Florida says that 70% and better is acceptable. Mm -hmm. So if you are 70% fully funded, then that's considered okay. It's not fantastic. It's not the idea. No, it's not it's fantastic okay. at all. Mm -hmm. Right. It's and, okay. Uh, and it's from a, I'm sorry. I was going to say from a manager's um, point of view, when there's a, before there's an actual closing, we often will get what is called a condominium mortgage questionnaire and mm -hmm. the bank is asking about our, the financial condition mm, mm -hmm. of the association. I'm guessing they learned and, the hard way and to do we'll, that. Yeah, right? they learned yeah. it back during yeah. 2004, 2005, mm -hmm. Charlie, Francis, Gene, and Wilma, yep. the mm -hmm. storms. Mm -hmm. They learned there to ask about the reserves. Mm -hmm. And the bank has that has a formula, which must be what Anastasia's talking about. They consider 70% okay. From a community association perspective, 70% is not okay. It needs to be a hundred percent fully funded wow. for what you need okay. uh, this year to stay on track for next year, next year, next year. But exactly. the banks are asking financial information and they're asking about your bank balances and your reserves. Mm -hmm. They're also asking about the number of renters mm -hmm. because they understand that owners who rent their units, the property value goes down. Oh. So they're being real picky mm -hmm. about it. Betsy, and you've got a lot of papers on your lap here, and I, I have a feeling that they're numbers-oriented and reserve-related. <laughs> <laughs> well, this would be the type of report that Anastasia would uh, provide for your community, and Suzanne loves it <laughs> when I show paper. I am not an analytical person <laughs> whatsoever, so I'm just like, paper. that's so many numbers. <laughs> but the, you would get, now you don't have to reserve for everything in here, but what I want from Anastasia is to find everything on my property that might need replacement. Mm -hmm. Because there are, I'm not an engineer. There are a lot of things that I can't see. Well, like what? what Tell us, Anastasia, things? Yeah. some things that you can't see that you need to plan for. What can, you know, just the average person, I can't see. There are so many things that you need to plan for that are not first and foremost in our mind. Of course, paint, roof, pavement, that's what the state puts out for us. And then you have 
landscaping allowance. You have sprinkler systems. You have water treatment plants. You have domestic water pumps. You have lift stations. You have elevators. You have community rooms, pools, spa, fences, sauna. Uh, you have tennis courts. You have boxy courts. You have mm -hmm. shuffleboard courts. There's uh, maintenance buildings. There's all sorts of things on a property. There's um, the, the and one of the sure the the driveway breezeway. I, I can't say the word. I'm not French, so I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my name is, but I can't speak French yeah. either. <laughs> well, I had Alabama French, but that's that's not the. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 other thing that that I know I remember talking to a board member one time and he was uh, telling me oh yeah we're fully funded we've got all of our reserves and then later in the conversation he said but we had to special asset assess for concrete and balcony and railing restoration and I looked at him and I said but I thought I thought you said you were fully funded for your reserves but why, so why did you have to special assess for the concrete restoration balconies and railing? He said, oh, we didn't reserve for that. Exactly. And I'm like, oh, okay. All so right, can I just jump in? Because now I have to take the homeowner side okay. and go, the problem is these boards are filled up with people like us who have no clue. <laughs> like, I can relate to that guy because... Well, I didn't know. I thought that was just for fences, or I just thought it was for the elevators. I mean, you know? If you're on the beach, you have to reserve for railings and balconies and concrete restoration. The and salt sea eats walls. it. Seawalls. And what? And seawalls. 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 Sea yes, seawalls. Um, I mean, how would and, we know this? And and, yeah. and some some condo towers have cooling, chilling. Towers, yeah, towers. Yeah. and all of the plumbing, the piping, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. of that. Uh, and that some of them have upwards of five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, and some oh. of them have old plumbing, oh. mm -hmm. and and I hear of them all having to tear out the walls and all oh do replumbing. Gosh, these are things you can't see, but you need to reserve for, or you need to have somebody like Anastasia come in and inspect it and say, yeah, because when you go to replace this, it's going to cost a whole lot. All right, I got another question. Having a heart attack. I am. Yeah, okay. So, okay, <laughs> let's say that you're in a, let's say that you're in a community that doesn't have a manager, right? Because that, <sighs> that's a case. How would we know? Like, we have to assume if we have a manager, they're going to protect us and they're going to tell yeah. us about things like that. If they're my managers, they yes. will. Yes, <laughs> That's the problem is what if we don't? What if we are in a community? I didn't think to ask, do we have a good community manager? Like, that would never come out of my mouth. Well, yeah. It will now. You know, it, <laughs> yeah, believe me. Then, well, SOL. Yeah. Oh, um, really? Yeah. And, and the thing is, too, is that there are some boards who hire managers, but then they won't listen to them. Exactly. And I, I that wow. baffles me mm -hmm. why you would ask a manager a question. Now, it, healthy debate is fine, mm -hmm. but but to consistently say no 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 and remember you work for me oh. well yeah but you ask me the question right right and i'm trying to protect you i love your property as much as you love your property right. sometimes so it just I, comes you know. down to the dollar like i don't want to spend one more dollar well you're going to have lots of zeros at the end if you don't listen to me right yeah you know and some yeah, boards won't listen. one thing i uh, getting back to the things that people don't think about yeah the association one of the main or two of the main things that have become a trend in the last couple of years and this is this is by um the suggestion of florida state is the insurance deductible for your insurance policy the association's insurance policy and then hurricane cleanup costs a a 20 unit very small condominium complex can cost twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars just for hurricane cleanup, and that is not covered by your insurance. Right. So that's the, those two items have been put on the mm -hmm. reserve studies as an allowance and as an option for the board to yeah. plan ahead for those sorts of things. And if they are on a full schedule, then if they don't use that and they have a need for it, then if they use it for something else, they can always go back and and refund it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The there there are some. It's not technically a reserve item because it doesn't have a life, doesn't live. But there are uh, communities that are reserving for 
or at least saving, well, I won't use the word reserves, but saving yeah. for their insurance deductible, wind deductible, and the debris removal costs a whole lot. Wow. Exactly. Really good. Unless you want to have a community day where you all head down and start picking up stuff and moving concrete and, yeah, and just, picking up roofs. Just wait until the first person gets hurt. Oh, my god! And then be sure you got your general liability, workers' Holy comp, cow. Uh, DNO yeah. insurance. Uh, you know, yeah, no, you, we don't want volunteers out there on the property. Anastasia, we need you. Don't <laughs> go anywhere. Need her. Thank you so much for being part of the show. And I know that she's really a go-to person for you. She is, she? and she is uh, one of my facilitators this year for the year, yearly educational summit. And uh, she does a fantastic job with the managers and they just pound her with questions yeah. and she just, <laughs> she answers, just gets them right she back. She just answers all of them. <laughs> and so we're excited to have her. She'll be with us on um, August 22nd. Awesome. So we'll be, we'll be glad to have her for our yearly educational summit. Anastasia, how can people get a hold of you? Boards, they need to talk to you. <laughs> they need you. Okay. All right. So, uh, shameless plug, uh, Expert Inspectors Incorporated, we do uh, reserve studies and replacement cost valuations and wind mitigations for associations. The number is 386-677-8886. And we all have voicemail. You can leave us voicemail if we're out of the office. We, we, uh, we want people to come back to us. We don't want people in for, you know, for years and years at a time. We want them to come back on their own accord. We will work closely with your board and with your, your CAM yeah. if you have one, and uh, we will get things done. Yeah, Wonderful. Thank you so much, yeah. Anastasia. Absolutely. Yeah, and be sure if you're watching this, and you, I mean, uh, could you see more importance of, of you know, having reserves? Um, like the show, please subscribe, um, hit the bell, and make sure that you know when the next episodes are coming mm -hmm. out, because Betsy is a... Uh, absolute expert here in the state and we're covering all kinds of topics yeah. so thanks for joining us thank yeah. you yeah thank you have a great day thanks thank you bye-bye thank you for listening to cam matters be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes for more information feel free to email betsy at betsy at floridacamschools.com or visit the florida cam schools website at www.floridacamschools.com information provided on this show is general in nature and does not constitute legal advice. Please contact a licensed attorney for your specific situation.